very recently I made a difficult decision to upgrade. Yes, difficult, because no one really likes to upgrade their memory cards. We'd rather spend on cameras, on lenses, on bags, on tripods, basically things that we either see physically a lot or things that really make a difference in our images. But of course, you very well know how important it is to be using reliable storage when it comes to the cards that we use on our cameras. Basically, very recently, I had a nightmare moment when after a professional shoot, I came home to find that the photos I had in my SD card were corrupted. That's why now, if I mean business, I shoot with two cards, one CF Express card and one SD card. Now, the problem is when you upgrade your cards, you also have to upgrade your reader. And at the time, I was looking for an SD card reader that would also have CF Express cards and at the same time also have functions. Now, all of a sudden, I got an email and basically this arrived. It doesn't really look like much until you get to use it. Let me tell you what it is. This is the Dock K Studio. It's an 8-in-1 USB-C hub. And let me tell you, I think this is the USB-C hub for all professional creatives, especially those who are future-proofing. I believe that SD cards are here to stay, but also I believe that CF Express cards are going to be the tools of choice for professionals, especially those who have a lot on the line. Now this hub is 10 cm by 5.5 cm and has a thickness of about 1.5 cm. And in the middle of the top surface, you can see a two inch color touch screen. And this screen will help you monitor what's coming in and coming out and also be able to manage everything that's plugged into the hub. Now honestly, this has almost every type of port that I want to have on the go. It has a 100 watt USB-C PD port so you can charge your devices while you are using the hub. It also has a full-sized HDMI port that can support up to 4K at 120Hz. And that's perfect because the hub that I always have in my bag, whether it be for a laptop or for an iPad, always has to have a full-sized HDMI port because, well, I also travel a lot to give presentations. Now, why did I say that it's perfect for imaging creatives? Number one, it has an SD card slot. It has a micro SD card slot, and they work simultaneously. At the same time, it has a CF Express Type A and a CF Express Type B slot that can also be used simultaneously and even at the same time as the SD cards. And of course, any hub will be worthless if we did not have high-speed ports. So we have a high-speed USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 Type A and another one that's Type C that can each do 10 Gbps simultaneously. And of course, the last port will be for the host. And this cable can, of course, supply 100 watts of charging and 40 Gbps of data. Now, as I said, the specs are nice, but let me show you how to use it and how the screen makes it really cool. So here we have the Dock Case Studio. We have, of course, my laptop, and this is a ProArt portable monitor. And the first thing we're going to do is, of course, plug in the host cable. And that is on this side. Now, as we plug that in, of course, the screen will start, and here you can see what it does. Now, when we take a look at the screen, you can see, of course, the logo of Dock Case right there. We also have the temperature of the device, and of course, these individual rectangles are pertaining to different ports. Up here, up top, we have the port for the CF Express cards, and here we have the one that's for the SD and micro SD cards. Here we have the HDMI port, and we have the two ports for the USB-A and USB-C respectively. Plus we have here the rectangle for the power supply. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug this in. Now this cable is actually connected to a GAN charger that can supply up to 140 watts. However, of course, this only has a maximum of 100 watts, and the laptop I'm using only takes in 100 watts PD as well. So if we plug this in right here, let's see what it's going to show. Now again, I said this is a touch screen, so when we tap on that, it's going to show what is coming in and what is coming out. 
Now it's saying that it's a USB-C PD 3.0. And what it's doing now is it's taking in 100 watts at 20 volts at 5.0A. And it's giving the current max output of 80 watts. Now when you swipe right, it's going to give you this option. It's either going to give you the PD version or the hub power. And you can choose between PD 2.0 and PD 3.0. Now next we'll insert an SD card and of course that is going right here. And the computer has already read it but you, of course you're not seeing that. But the fact that it has turned orange, it also means that it is already reading the SD card. Now let's give it another card, which is a micro SD card right here. And then now there are also arrows on the icon for the micro SD card. And when we click that, we can see that there is an SD card inserted and there is a micro SD or TF card inserted. Now I don't really have a CF Express Type B, but I have a CF Express Type A, of course, because I am a Sony user. So we're gonna plug that in right here on the slot. And I believe it's the other way around. Then put it right there. And as soon as we plug that in, of course, there is also that green indication on the top left rectangle, which is for the CF Express card. And what I really like about this is that it's also giving us a lot of information about the card. For example, the capacity, which is a 256 card, um, it shows how many unsafe shutdowns I've done. And thankfully, it says zero. It also gives us the health status, which says it's good at 100%. Power on hours, one hour. And we also have the number of storage errors and the total read and write, which is 18 gig and 21 gig. Now, next, I'm going to plug this in, which is, of course, a portable SSD on the USB-C port. And right there, that magenta icon says that it's reading a USB 3.2 Gen 2 at 10 Gbps. And of course, the computer has also already read it. Now, the last thing we're going to plug in is the HDMI right here. Now the display that you are seeing a little bit of is actually the ProArt 169 CDV, which is a portable monitor but is also a graphic pen tablet. So I'll be reviewing this separately. But again, when we check out the information, it's saying manufacturer Asus display model PA169 CDV, manufactured week 37 of 2023, Display info, 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. And it also is saying the preferred resolution plus a DP alt mode and the chip mode. I love that because I've never seen a dock that actually gives you the information on the displays and on the cards and the drives that you are using. So it might not be always necessary, but I love the fact that I now have a way to get all this information from a simple USB-C dock. And coincidentally, what I love that I can now do is also test out cables on the power that they give whenever I'm charging because as you might not know, USB-C cables are all made to look the same way but all have different functions and capabilities. Now, since you're already watching this video, it means that this is now live on Kickstarter. You can get the Docke Studio for 139 USD if you're within the first 200 customers. And you can get it for 159 USD if you're within the next 200. And if you miss out on that, then if you're within the next 500 people, you can get it at 179. If you're too late and you miss out, then you can get it on Amazon later on for 199 US dollars. I've put the link below and you can check it out there. Now, if you have any questions, of course, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And again, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I'm a landscape and architectural photographer, and I also do a lot of tech reviews. And if you're new to the channel and would like to see some more photography and tech content, then do click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. In any case, 
Thanks for watching. And again, this is the Doc K Studio 8-in-1 USB-C hub.